Hey guys, Patrick R with TFB TV, and today I'm out of the range with the XD Mod 2 Tactical in 9mm. Now, this gets a 5 inch barrel up from the uh, shorter barrels that were offered previously. It also gets a fiber optic front sight and uh, kind of a uh, combat style, no vacuum looking rear. And uh, overall, it's pretty similar to the other XD uh, Mod 2s out there. Uh, you get all the same XD things like the, uh, the little finger. Tri uh, trigger safety, the additional grip safety, which uh, you know forces you to kind of push that in order to pull the trigger. If it's not depressed, you can't even cycle the slide. So you see it lock up right there. And you depress it. Now I can cycle the slide. Um, but overall, it's a, a pretty solid feeling gun. I'm going to get out of the range, see what I think about it. If you guys watch the channel, you know that I'm not a fan of the classic XD uh, line. So this one's got a pretty high bar to live up to. I'm, I'm hoping that it does pretty well. So uh, we'll get it out there and see how it does. Um, just kind of a quick overview of the gun. You've got a cocking indicator that protrudes from the rear so you can feel that it's uh, you know cocked and ready to fire. It also has a loaded chamber indicator that kind of pops up up here on the top when you've got a round in the chamber and you can run your hand across the uh, top of the gun and feel that it has something in the chamber. Uh, you also have some forward cocking serrations to help you do those press checks. Make sure it's loaded or not loaded. And then um, you have a Picatinny rail down here to go ahead and mount whatever light you like. And I brought out a Surefire X300 to go ahead and mount on here just to see how it feels. Um, it's got a 16 round capacity for the 9mm. And then the 45, which I also out ha have out here at the range, has a 13 round capacity. Now this is identical to the 9mm. It still has a 5 inch barrel, still has this fiber optic front sight um, and the, uh, the grip zone. But uh, other than the magazine uh, capacity change, the grip is a little bit bigger. And I'm not a huge fan of 45 uh, pistols as a result. That's not really my thing. So let's get these things loaded up and get out in the range. Uh, we're going to start with the 45 and then move into the 9 and uh, see how they shoot. So, not too bad for a 45. Let's go grab that 9 and uh, really have some fun. So now it's not a secret that I prefer a 9mm shoot because it's cheaper and I like to spend a lot of time at the range. And on top of that, modern hollow points like the Federal HST and a couple of the other ones, like Spear Gold Dot I think is another, um, is about as effective in 9mm with the proper loading as it is in say 45 or 40. Uh, the differences are just so very, very minute you get a little bit of a capacity advantage. And uh, I said earlier that these are 16 round mags on the XD Tactical 9, and I was actually able to jam 17 in there. So probably not recommended, but you can do that. So let's uh, get started here. Not bad. All right, so now I've loaded up some pretty hot nine millimeter uh, plus P plus P plus P ammo. And it's a 124 grain bonded bullet, moving about 1300 feet per second. Uh, I think this is maybe atomic ammo or, let's see how it performs in the XD9 Mod 2 Tactical. Ah, that's so snappy. Feels like shooting a 45. All right, so it seems to work. Not a bad little gun.
All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of our range day with the XD Mod 2 Tactical in both 9mm and 45. I'm not that huge of a fan of the Classic series of pistols, but the Mod 2 isn't half bad. I find it to be very pointable, very comfortable to shoot, and very quick to get back on target. That front sight, very easy to pick up, and uh, all in all, not a bad little package. So I want to thank Proxybid. If you guys are looking for one of these things, head on over there and uh, check them out. The prices aren't half bad. See you next week. Bye.